My name is Sarah Rabrese, and I'm currently working in the plastic surgery department at Greggi University Hospital in Florence. Today, I'd like to talk about my team's recent experience in an unusual head and neck reconstructive technique, which was published in the archives of Plastic Surgery Journal, entitled as Radial Forearm Free Flap in a Patient with an Unusual Radial Artery Variation in the Case Report. Although radial flap vascularization is quite constant, nevertheless, rare abnormalities have been described over the decades. One such vascular anomaly is the sporadic presence of a medium vessel in the forearm. The latter, in the form of a codominant accessory ar artery, is rarely persistent in adults, and its use as the fitting vessel of a forearm flap is rarely reported in the English literature. But how did we encounter a median artery? A female patient of ours needed intraoral reconstruction after cancer excision. During the preoperative workup, with the aid of Doppler ultrasound and the modified Allen test, we detected an atypical median vessel in the form. During surgery, we found the overlying skin was solely supplied by the median artery, branching off from the radial artery. Since intraoperative tests revealed neither radial nor ulnar sided vascular insufficiencies, we were confident sacrificing the medial vessel would not have caused additional morbidity at the donor site. The flap was thus marked over the skin of the distal volar forearm with a template for, from the defect and harvested on its peculiar pedicle. The surgical attempt turned into a reconstructive success, but why did we do it? The thrilling possibility to preserve the major vessels of the form made us uh, persevere in our reconstructive plan. Everybody knows the fairly consistent structure of the radial artery system contributed to the success of the flap. Hence, preoperative detection of aberrant vessels is important to prevent damage at the donor site, foresee possible risk for flap survivals, and enable optimal flap harvest. For this reason, we decided to share this peculiar case with the scientific community in order to further analyze the, present, the prevalence of vascular abnormalities of the form. We hope that the readers of, of archives of Plastic Surgery Journal will find the study interesting and applicable in their surgical practice. And we would like to thank you for the possibility of sharing our study in this amazing platform.